Hello and welcome to a new video. So 11 months ago when Dragon Claws were announced, I started up three new PK builds and I finished them some days ago. So now I'm going to make a video about it. So first off, if you want to see the exact training methods, I will put them at the end. And first I'm going to talk about what account builds I made. So. First off, here on Michael's first, I went for a basic 60 attack, 31 prayer, 31 prayer, of course, for the ultimate strength, um, pure. So it's 99 strength, 99 range, 99 mage at 79 combat. It has all the necessities apart from a fire cape because I'm not able to do that at low prayer. Yet, I want to learn that in the future. So I have an unholy book. I have the Climbing Boots, I have the Berserker Ring Eye, I have the Avis Accumulator because, but I, I could use the Range Cape now. Also I have the Dwarven Rock Cake, that one is really important. Also did the quest for D-Skim and DDS of course. So it has only 55 quest points, just the basic quests are done. If you want to have a look you can play this on slow when I'm scrolling through and read exactly which quests are done. I haven't done uh, Mithril Goths, fin I haven't finished Mithril Goths yet and I haven't done uh, Desert Treasure. I PK with a combat bracelet anyway because I think the Mithril Goths risk is a bit low and I like the one extra accuracy a combat bracelet has on the Mithril Goths. So training those stats, if you do it really AFK, takes around 25 to 30 days of in-game time. If you do stuff like splashing and nightmare zone, really AFK, nightmare zone, really AFK as well. So let's have a look how much time I spent in-game. I spent 34 days and 14 hours. Remember, I also do daily flips on here. So I log in for like five to 10 minutes every day and do like no XP gains at all. So I did that for about a year. So that's another, uh, like one day coming just from that. So you can see I was quite efficient, but not really just efficient AFK. So let's hop on to the next account. So now I am on my 42 defense uh, rune pure and the uh, stats I have here are 60 attack as well. 99 strength, 99 range, 99 mage, 31 prayer with 95 HP. So this one takes about the same time, maybe two or three days more to get all the non-combat skills up to train. Um, but apart from that, it takes about as long as the pure to train. Just some more non-combat skills, but for that the range is a bit faster because you can use the better armor. The strength is also a little bit faster because you have the higher strength bonus. So cool stuff I have on here, which is untradeable, is the Fighter Torso, the Berserker Ring Eye, Barov's Gloves, which means I have most or a lot of the quests done, uh, Ava's Accumulator, Rune Defender, and a Book of Law. Um, of course, uh, no semi-book on here because I have the Rune Defender. So this is the cool stuff on here. Uh, by the way, the Fighter Torsos, I still don't know how to play Barbarian Assault. I just leech them uh, with BA services. So it's quite expensive, but since I'm quite rich, it's okay. So for the quests, I did um, the standard stuff most people do for Barrow's Gloves. If you want to have a look exactly, I'll scroll through it right now, slowly. So if you want to have a look at it exactly, turn the speed lower and read through what quests I did. Also, the defense experience I have is 46.5k. Uh, 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 remember, this is not the lowest you can get. I also did, I think, in Ad of Miracure. No, I didn't do in Aid on In Search of Miracure on here. Only did them on the other accounts. I actually think this might be... Yeah, this is the lowest defense experience you can get Barrow's Gloves and Vengeance on. It's exactly 3,802 experience of level 43 for Barrow's Gloves and Vengeance. You can get Barrow's Gloves at 41 defense since you don't have to do um, the quest for the Berserker Helmet. But since you need it anyway for 
uh, Vengeance, you need to get defense experience from there as well. So the time I played on here is 36 days, like I said, like one or two days more for uh, the not so AFK skills. So let's hop on to 12th. So here on 12th, this is the 60 attack, 70 defense uh, with piety. Um, this one took quite some time to make as well. Still around the same time as the other ones, around 30 days of training. Um, all the non-combats were trained for the quests and right here you can see important stuff 60 attack 99 strength 70 defense 99 range 70 prayer and 99 magic with 95 hp combat level on here is 101 uh the gear i use is or i have which is untradeable is a fire cape torso barrels gloves berserker ring dragon defender book of law and avis accumulator so Additional to say to this account is that I'm not sure if I'm going to get 70 cent prayer on it because those prayers might be quite cool as well. And I don't have them on first, I only have them on my main, Michael's fourth. So, how long did it take for me to make this account? Uh, by the way, quests which are done are nearly identical to the ones on 11th. You can see, you could slow that down. So, yeah. That's all the quests done. And the age on this account is 37 days, 17 hours and 20 minutes. So some more time spent on here than on the other two because I had to do uh, some more defense training, I think, and maybe some other skills. I'm not 100% sure. Also, this one has a has the pool in the house already. The other two don't. So this is everything for accounts. So right here, I'm going to say something about my CC. My CC, which is Michael's first, is um, quite empty recently or for quite some time because uh, I'm not making so many videos, but I would like some people in there. So to get some more people into my CC, I'm going to say here that I'm going to do some giveaways in the next days in my CC. I'm not sure how big they will be, um, but if you want to get some GP or something, just join my CC, you might be a lucky one. So, now I'll hop into all the training methods and how long it actually takes and how to train AFK. So, first things first, the magic training. So, the magic training is super AFK if you do splashing and if you want to do it kinda fast, which will take you around 270 hours to level 99 and one click every 15 minutes in your inventory or anywhere on the runescape screen. All you need is um, here on the gear bonuses, you need at least minus 65 magic. Uh, minus 64 is enough, I think, but uh, minus 65 is for sure enough. So if you are one defense, this needs 40 range, by the way. If you are higher defense level, you can use other stuff, which give us a lot of negative bonus, like uh, torso. Also, if you're one defense, you could use a uh, goblin staff to splash, but then you don't have free air and fire runes from the uh, smoke battle staff or all the other battle staffs, which give you the other free runes. So uh, for the 270 hours, you just always do the best uh, spell you can do. So this goes through all the strikes, to all the through all the bolts, through all the blasts, through all the waves, and then you do fire wave in the end. So what do you do? I mostly splash down here. This is in uh, downstairs in Lumbridge. You just put on your spell and then you just attack a spider and with the highest level fire spell, this one, it's around 50k experience an hour and all you need to do is click anywhere on the runescape screen once every 15 minutes. I would say best is just to click in the inventory um, since if you click anywhere apart from your spider, you might run away. Look that the spider can attack you. It will never kill you even if you're one defense. This is super easy mage training but it's quite expensive because that way you pay around 65 mil to level 99 range. You can do it on the side though while playing a main account which is doing some other on which you are doing some other stuff. Or you could do the super slow method. This takes around 1000 hours 
but it only costs you 3.4 mil with the fire strike spell. This is super cheap, only around 3.4 mil, but takes around 1000 hours. Once RuneScape Mobile is out, you maybe can do that on your phone while you're at work or somewhere like that. So let's get on to the melee training. For the melee training, you first have to do some quests to speed it up a lot. Those quests are Waterfall, Fight Arena, Grand 3 and 3 Gnome Village. And after you have done those quests, you have above 40 attack and 30 strength and you can use a rune scimitar now. Grab yourself your best training gear, some super attack and super strength potions, uh, some food and head yourself to sand crabs. So for, if you never have visited Sia, you need to go to here first and travel there with Vios. Otherwise you could use a skills necklace and travel to the woodcutting guild. You can also take your skills necklace, go here to Vios, then travel over to Sia, use the skills necklace and get to the woodcutting guild which is quite close but still a bit away. So here on Sia, the sand crabs are here in the south. Here is a bank and here spread around are sand crabs. There's also an island which has less people on it, uh, but you need to pay 10k to get a trip to that island. If you are really low level, it's not really worth it. But once you get into the medium levels of like 50s and 60s, it might worth be worth it because all the spots are taken on the land. So let's get on to the next part of the melee training. So the next part of the trading you want to do is probably Nightmare Zone. You want to do this once you reach around 60 or 70 strength on a 60 attack pure or other 60 attack build. It's, it might be a little bit less experience in the beginning, but it's a lot less annoying because you never get crashed and in my opinion it's more chill to train here. First off you can teleport here uh, via the minigames tab, choose Nightmare Zone and press the teleport. Then you need to store some money in here, I would say at least like 100k. Then to start it off you have to get some food and some potions. If you have prayer 43 or higher this makes it super easy to get your beginner's points. If you don't you could get some mage out or some range and get the first points running around and killing some normal bosses. After you have done that, you go to here and you buy yourself some absorption potions. I still have 71 on here, so I'll just going to use those. You buy them under the benefits and you can buy them on here. In here, they're 1000 each and you profit a lot of points usually, so it's no problem to get those. Once you have those, you right click, take from the absorption thing, take a lot of potions, take a full inventory. On a pure I use two super um, sets, on a main or on the 70 defense one I used three super combat potions, on the 42 defense one I used two super combat potions. The thing here is a lot of people tell you to use overloads. I don't because overloads heal you back up and make it a lot less AFK. So here you do a customizable rumble heart. And for that you need at least four bosses which are melee only. On the pure I used Count Rainer, Three Spirit, Castle Warlord, Bouncer and Black Demon. Um, the boss from Mountain Daughter is actually better than Black Demon but I couldn't be bothered doing that quest on here. So I just did Black Demon. This maybe raises your SP rate by a little bit if you have the other one. So once you enter the dream you just uh, guzzle down with the rock cake to no HP at all, so just guzzle down. A uh, good technique for that is putting the rock cake down here and then right and, uh, right and left click as fast as you can. For this you could also put in only one mouse button and then you could just spam it with one mouse button. But in my opinion it's not worth it to do that since you need to turn it off again so you can drink your potions. So for drinking the absorption potions just spam around and then just drink your super attack and super strength potions. You can absorb to 1000 HP and now just AFK away. 
you just AFK with auto retaliate on and you get your experience. You can see it goes down a bit and I would guzzle down your HP from time to time because right now you can see it always when they hit it takes only one because I only have one HP. If I would have 20 HP it would take down 20 and would be a really bad method. So in my opinion this is super AFK because you just chill and from time to time you right click here and do some guzzling and drink some absorption potions and don't do more. So here have a look it's 118 strength potted and it will go down over the next few minutes. I will show you um, that if you if you use overloads it isn't that much better. So if we go in and we drink the overload in here it actually only boosts me to 118 as well. But the overload will reset it to 118 every so often. So that's quite cool. So I think it will nearly be at 118 for all the time. But the problem is after 5 minutes it, it uh, brings back your HP and you take a lot of damage through the absorption. So now to show that the absorption actually works the way I told you. I'm not going to guzzle down and... I'm going to absorb a little bit. So if you didn't have a rock cake, this would be a really annoying thing. Because now you can see it's hitting me a lot. You can see I'm at, yeah, it's going down like crazy. If you're at the high HP, this would happen if the overload resets, you're at around this HP and it just goes down. So in my opinion, overloads aren't worth it for the little bit extra um, experience per hour I bring you. You can see I'm already dead because I am that high HP. So you need to guzzle down and then use absorption potions. So for the, on here on the pure, you use a setup like Dragon Skim, Amulet of Torture, Unholy Book. If you don't have a torture because you're not 75 attack or you don't have a money, use a Glory or a Fury. Um, don't use a Regan Bracelet because that makes your HP regenerate twice as fast, which is really bad. Just use a Combat Bracelet. Use a Berserkering or a Berserkering Eye if you have that. Use Climbing Boots. Use a Fire Cape if you have one. So on a 45 defense it's mostly the same apart from, or on 42 defense apart from using a Torso, Barrow's Gloves and a Rune Defender and Rune Boots. Uh, and on the 70 defense or 60 and higher defense you should use the Obsidian Armor with the, um, how is it called, Obi Neck. It's really nice and really a lot better experience. Just with the Obi Sword, Sword, how is it called, Tox Kill something. Yeah, nobody knows those names. You know, Obi Armor, Obi Sword, really good experience per hour. So let's get to the last part, part which is the range training. So for the range training, for the four, first few levels, a Dwarf can will boost your um, XP per hour by a lot. So I mean training from level zero, uh, 1 to level 40 will be super fast with a can, probably less than an hour and will take quite some time with uh, other methods. You can do this, the cannoning, uh, right up here north of Camelot at uh, right here uh, next to uh, Relica at the Rock Crabs. Also a little tip up to 75 I would use steel darts, just so you know, steel darts are 18 each, iron knives are 54 each and they both have the same speed and they both have 5 range and 4 range, uh, uh, strength, so they're both, actually they're the same item, different looking, but some people still use knives and they're triple the price. So you steal darts at sand crabs from level 40 to 75 or level 1 to 75 according if you want to use a can for the low levels. For the can you also have to do the dwarf can quest but this can be done in like five minutes. So from level 75 on I'll show you right away. So for the final part of range training from level 75 to 99 I would advise you to use Nightmare Zone with a blowpipe. This is quite expensive, but it's quite a good experience rate. So it's around 100k an hour, a little bit less on a pure, maybe starting at around 85k an hour at level um, 75, going to around 100k an hour as well. So on here, 
you just use a blowpipe, I would advise you to use adamant darts because you pay the most for scales anyway. So with adamant darts, it's around 300k an hour to use. With mithril darts, it's around 250k an hour to use. Those are approximations, so don't take me too harsh on those. So to level 99, it will cost you something around 30 to 40 mil, probably. So for the gear in here, just use the best range accuracy gear you can get. Also use a necklace of anguish if you can get your hands on it, because it increases your range strength bonus, which is really good. Also, you might be using void if you're... Uh, rune pure or higher so if you're 42 defense or higher but void got nerfed quite hard and it's nearly the same as uh, black d height now i compared it and the difference was really slim so i couldn't really figure out what was really better in the long run so do the same as when training melee but use super range potions you can get super range potions in here and from there on, it's the same method as training melee with absorb potions. Just do a dream on hard. Um, use the bosses which are best uh, for you. On here, um, you can e either try around with them or you can look up in... A, I made a video about the best uh, DPS calculator. And in there, in this DPS calculator spreadsheet, there's also a Nightmare Zone spreadsheet, which shows you which Nightmare Zone bosses will give you the best experience rates. And there, just pick those uh, which have the highest XP rate for you. By the way, I just realized that I could have used uh, Barrow's Gloves, but yeah. So, press accept, go in, same method as before, just guzzle down to 1 HP, drink the absorb potions from time to time guzzle down again same as the melee training so this was it for my video today i hope you enjoyed it um, if you want join my cc like i said i'll do some giveaways in the next days i hope you enjoy those also follow me on twitter maybe give the video a like if you enjoyed it a lot of people ask me how do you train your builds and i think i answered a lot of questions in here for everyone who was wondering so thank you a lot for watching, thanks and bye.